In the United States alone, more than 800,000 people die of cardiovascular diseases every year, accounting for one in three deaths overall. Tragically, simple lifestyle changes could have prevented 200,000 of these deaths. Nancy, a 37-year-old patient of mine, has questions about her heart health. During the visit, I launched Cardiac Consultant to show her some of the risks and lifestyle choices impacting cardiovascular health. Nancy's data is imported from the EHR through the FHIR API. Four fields are missing from Nancy's patient record. Hitting Next allows me to view the calculator. All of Nancy's available patient data is populated on the left side of the screen. Color coding indicates positive health values versus those that increase patient risk. Default values are substituted for the missing fields. Nancy's risk scores are here on the right. Cardiac Consultant calculates the risk score using three research-based risk models. The percentages serve as toggles between the three models. The Framingham Lipid model displays on load because it's the most commonly used standard by providers. By clicking on the other risk percentages, I can view results in the Framingham BMI model and the Reynolds model. The Reynolds model is based on new research and includes a measure of patients' C-reactive proteins, which is still relatively uncommon for patients to have on record. The warning label on the Reynolds model indicates the results may be inaccurate due to missing patient data. We'll resolve this shortly. The Framingham BMI model is available for cases where there is no information about blood chemistry. Next, there are visualizations for both the provider and the patient. The heat map charts Nancy's risk percentage and LDL cholesterol. It serves as a guide towards a potential mode of treatment. The vertical bar graph displays the contributing factors for the selected risk model. Grayed out factors contribute to the other models within the calculator. The red stacked bar graph of risk causes is the primary takeaway for Nancy. These are the life factors directly contributing to her increased cardiovascular risk. Finally, the health summary table gives a complete readout of Nancy's health data, along with how each value contributes to her cardiovascular health. All of these visualizations will refresh as Nancy's patient data is updated on the left. Now, let's circle back to the values missing from Nancy's profile. We didn't get values for her resting heart rate or her blood pressure. As the value is entered, the slider color updates, indicating the value is outside of an optimal range. You can see how these new values impact the visualizations. Nancy's risk score has risen and the charts have all updated to depict the new values. I also know from my previous appointments with Nancy that she has a family history of cardiovascular disease. While this does not affect the risk score in the Framingham BMI model, it does increase risk in the Reynolds model. Let's resolve the error on the Reynolds model by updating Nancy's C-reactive protein. When I add in the new value, the error message disappears, and I get a more accurate picture of her cardiovascular risk. One of the features that distinguishes Cardiac Consultant from other available calculators is the way it can be used to predict risk over time. See how significantly the risk drops if Nancy were to quit smoking. Or worse, see what happens if her LDL cholesterol levels continue to rise. At this point, I have enough of Nancy's health data to review results in all three of the risk models. I can compare and contrast to get a broad picture of Nancy's cardiovascular prognosis and make an informed decision about her treatment. Cardiac Consultant is designed to make healthcare providers smarter and more efficient. Auto-populating patient data from the Cerner EHR lets providers focus on assessing the patient's risk and treatment options. The interactivity of the controls allow providers to test hypotheses and illustrate the positive impacts of treatment and lifestyle changes for patients. With tools like Cardiac Consultant, evidence-based clinical practice can be a reality.